Hello, astronomy students, Newland here. I wanted to try and give some help on the Stellarium Lab that was supposed to be pretty straightforward. Notice on number 11, I've made some alterations. Make sure that you're, when you're trying to answer this question, that you're more or less in the Houston region. Set it for around September 20th. Uh, any date around there would be fine, and around 8 p.m., so 20.00 on the clock. And if you do that, like I've done here, it's around 8. Here, I'll go back to 8 o'clock and pause it. I, it's uh, September 20th, 2020, around 8 p.m., which is 20 o'clock. That was an accident. And you'll notice there's a, a circle, uh, not a circle, that is an oval in the sky. If you click on it, it says M31, and it brings up this information page. It says Andromeda Nebula, which it's totally not, but there's a great story about why. But at any rate, you can see here that there's a right ascension and declination coordinate, but the question I'm asking you about is the azimuth and altitude. Azimuth is, and you can see it's around uh, 52 degrees azimuth and around 20-ish altitude. Azimuth is the one that's around the sky. So if you're facing north, that's an azimuth of zero. If you're facing east, that's an azimuth of 90. This is a little bit more than halfway between them, so it's an azimuth of around 50. And each one of these marks is about 10 degrees. Well, it is 10 degrees. So this would be 10 degrees above the horizon in azimuth, sorry, altitude. That would be 20 degrees above the horizon in altitude. That would be 30. So notice this is just below the 20, it's around 18. So again, we came not quite 90 degrees from north. So instead of facing due north or instead of facing due east, we're kind of in between the two, so northeast. And it's uh, more or less in the right place in the sky. So the altitude is how far above the horizon you are for your location. The azimuth is what direction you're facing. Zero is north, 270 is west, 180 is south. So if you know the azimuth, you know what direction to face, and the altitude tells you how far above the horizon to go. And you'll also notice now that I've got the azimuthal grid turned on right here, it's really easy for me to tell what zenith means. It's the point directly above your head. So if I fast forward this a little bit, you'll notice that what appears above my head may change, but the zenith is literally the point directly above your head. Wherever you are, at the top of the sky would be your zenith. And if I zoom out, you can see it looks like a circle with the edges of the circle being your horizon and the center of the circle being your zenith. So that actually gives you a couple of answers there. All right, I hope that helps.